Hello campers, welcome back to the Casual Car Camper. I'm your host Brian and today we're going to do a product test slash torture test for Firestarter. This is Instafire Firestarter. This uh, was on Shark Tank. It's also been on a lot of YouTubers. They, they test it like on water and everything else but I want to torture test it in a situation that would also be fairly realistic. I have a log that's been sitting out in the rain for a day and it's also green which makes it harder to light to begin with. So, so what I want to do is I'm going to make a notch in here. I'm going to put a paper in the notch and then I'm going to put the Instafire on and then I'm going to light it with a match the most low tech way I have to light a fire just to see what happens. But first I do want a notch and remember when you're dealing with axes and hatchets and wood always wear safety goggles and if you have them gloves are a good idea as well i don't have gloves at the moment so let's just get this notch made what i'm doing is i'm going at a 45 degree angle to the wood hitting in the same area then i'm going to go at another 45 degree angle so i can create a v for a notch okay got a nice decent little notch gonna put the fire in put the paper in but first, I'm going to put this in a safer place than on the wood. I have a uh, fire bit here, so give me one second. Let me put this in. Okay, campers, so we have our log in a fire pit. I have my paper, and you only need about a quarter bag, it says, for the lighting instructions. That's eighth of a bag. It's about a quarter bag. Gonna save that for later. Now to light it. And all I have is some simple kitchen matches. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this on camera, on top, let it run for a little while. If it doesn't really light the log this way, I think it's actually designed to heat from the bottom, so we'll put some underneath it, light it, and see what happens on that case. But, you know, I tried this out so you don't have to. All right, camper, so I'm back. It didn't really, it feels like they don't, it, uh, the material doesn't burn down very well. So if you, if you are gonna do this, you're gonna wanna burn it from the bottom up. But that being said, it did kinda um, dry this. What I did was I flipped it like this. I'm gonna put the uh, starter with a bag underneath it, right underneath the dry spot. And we're going to light it with a match and see what happens. Remember when you're lighting with matches, always close the box first or the package so when you light, you don't accidentally light the whole box on fire. Alright, and we have a fire going. It's started. It's definitely heating up the wood and drying it. You can see the white smoke coming off of it. I don't know if you can hear on the camera, but it's actually, um, I hear uh, steam and, uh, popping from the wood. And we're getting some br blackening there. I'm going to give it a little help. Okay, campers, so it did not light the log, but that was extreme torture test. When I throw some smaller bits in, it got them going. So my recommendation, if you do have this, you can use it on wet wood. You can use it on green wood. You just have to um, 
cut it thin and then use smaller pieces like a big log that like this isn't going to work but you know standard size log like this should work just fine especially if you uh, get some kindling around and get the fire going it should dry it out and get it lit pretty well all right campers if you have any questions comments and concerns please leave a comment down below or contact me on facebook the casual car camper on facebook and remember, as always, as long as you're having fun, you're doing camping right.